Vice Minister Chan Won Thun, uh, Vice Minister for Science and Technology. Mr. Ho Ki Ming, Vice Chair of the Da Nang People's Committee. Mr. Ho Dui Hun, Chairman of DINES. My colleague, Ambassador Nada Bashar, Ambassador of Israel in Vietnam. Ladies and gentlemen, friends, it's wonderful to be back in Da Nang for the second year running to join you for this CERF conference. I'm particularly pleased to be in the Administrative Centre in Da Nang. It seems I'm a little bit too tall for the podium. <laughs> uh, it's really lovely to be in the Administrative Centre in Da Nang. I think it's a great way for people to see what the City of Da Nang Administration does. And to host this conference here, I think, is a great example of leadership uh, from the city and bringing the citizens into what the city authorities do. Ireland is really pleased to sponsor this conference for the second year running. And it's part of our growing relationship with the city of Danai. And entrepreneurship and business and supporting startups is a key part of that. Last year, I was really delighted to sign an MOU uh, of cooperation with the City of Danang, and I signed that with the Chairman of the People's Committee. And really that paved the way for increased cooperation between Ireland and the City of Danang. And through this partnership, Ireland has been providing support to DINES, partnering with the Cork uh, Centre for Incubation, the Rubicon Centre in Ireland's second city, the City of Cork. We've seen a lot of exchange from that programme, and we've also seen increasing links between Irish institutes for higher education and universities here in Denai. Under our Irish Aid programme, which is managed by our embassy, we have supported a particular programme on bilateral exchange between education institutions. And in, here in Denai, we have supported the Denai University of Economics, who have partnered with the Cork Institute of Technology to support uh, students and academics in the area of business incubation. Earlier this month, we had the uh, Danan Startup Runway, and we were extremely impressed by the quality of the business ideas that the students involved in that competition brought forward. I think it's a wonderful example of how working in the education sector can far foster that spirit of entrepreneurship. Um, the quality of the, of the proposals that were brought were incredible and it's also because of the use of the applicants and uh, students. Um, so I think for Ireland, that has been one of the key learnings from our progress on startups. It's starting early. So if we talk about that issue of human capital, education and nurturing talent is absolutely key to that. So starting early and starting at school stages and university stage is a very important part of that. I was really pleased that the Vice Minister mentioned the issue of red tape because in Ireland we are known as being rated by the Forbes magazine as one of the best places in the country in the world to do business because of the ease of doing business. And the ease of doing business is because we try and cut out the red tape. So we like to say in Ireland that we favour green lights over red tape. Uh, so I'm extremely pleased that the Vice Minister mentioned that. I think we may be beaten by Israel in the number of startups that we have in our country. Israel beats us on that. But to share that Dublin, our capital city, has 2,000 startups and 200 global tech companies. Because, a little like Israel, Ireland doesn't have much in the way of natural resources, we're very dependent on our people. So, in nurturing our talent, our education system has been absolutely crucial to that and it has been a major catalyst in how we have developed our economy and how we have attracted foreign direct investment, which has been such a catalyst for our economy. Irish people are generally fairly creative and innovative, and so we have decided as a government to invest in that innovation and creativity. And because we're a small island next to a very big neighbour, that's something that we have to do. We have to be innovative and we have to be creative. I think funding and support, which I know that you will talk about a lot during this day, are always critical for startups. And in Ireland, there's a wealth of different kinds of support programs that we offer. I wanted to mention one of those this morning, and it's called the New Frontiers Program. And just to briefly mention two lessons from that New Frontiers Program. 
which, is, which relate to the issue of human capital. The first one is leadership and the importance of nurturing leadership because I think many of you who are involved in startups here will know that it can be an extremely lonely journey. It's not easy starting a business on your own. So we have found by using incubation centers that gives a community for people uh, that they can engage with. It's peer support. It's being able to go for a cup of coffee with somebody and talk about the issues that you're facing. It's being able to share the problems and come up with solutions, but also to celebrate the milestones and celebrate the success stories. The other point that I would mention, which I think is exactly what you're doing today, is the importance of networking. And we have found in Ireland that the, the, the most valuable thing that the state can do and that businesses can do is to come together and to network and to share different kinds of ideas. So I think that's exactly what you're doing today and it's wonderful to see this event grow and grow and in comparison to last year, I think you have even more people in the room this year and we're extremely delighted that Ireland can be a part of it. We look forward to a very successful day ahead and again very proud that Ireland can be part of this wonderful event today and thank you for listening. Thank you.